uh, just I have to make one correction because my uh, topic, in fact, has been switched, and I'm going to speak about post-extraction healing and implications for implant treatment and ridge maintenance. And the reason I changed the topic order was it made much more sense to speak about this first, and then tomorrow speak about the timing of implant placement after tooth extraction. And so unfortunately, the reality is that teeth need to be taken out, either because of dental pathology, dental diseases, through resorptive processes, through, um, uh, through trauma, for example, and the consequences are teeth need to be extracted. And we all know as dentists that one of the consequences of tooth extraction, yes, the site heals, but at the same time, we see significant changes that take place to the alveolar ridge, significant dimensional alterations. And so what I would like to do in this presentation this morning to open up the Congress is firstly to review healing after tooth extraction. And for many of us, this will be a revision. But I think it's important to establish the biological basis for this so that when we talk about the clinical implications, we have a biological understanding of the processes underpinning it. I will then speak about the implications for implant therapy and then also briefly speak about the impl uh, implications for ridge maintenance. And this will then form almost like an introduction to my uh, lecture tomorrow, which, is the, which will be the last uh, lecture of the Congress, when I speak about more clinically the timing of implant placement after a tooth is removed. Okay, so let's look at healing after extraction. And here you see a diagram of the alveolar process in cross-section. You see a tooth that sits in a, in a posterior mandibular site, and you can identify the structures, the cortical bone.